Hello and welcome, you are gaming with me, Brothgar. Now, in previous episodes, uh, we attempted to take the Barbarian and make it go after a statue. And as you can see over here, where everything blew up in our face, with the idea that slave labor could be achieved from Barbarian forces. Alright, so we got ourselves some peasants, and what they want to do is go after these rocks, and then put them back down where they came from. So, if I place down a peasant, come on here, peasant. Now work for me, sir! Oh no! Oh no, the stone is not... <laughs> yes! We can do it! We can do it! Human power is at our hands! We are now kings rightfully in our lands! Role playing, people. Role playing. Don't, don't be overcritical about this. Okay, I'm a little overly excited about this because this, this is awesome. <laughs> yes, go for it. Go for it. Get more in there. Work harder for me. I am your king. Push with all your might. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you guys go. This was easy. This was really easy. All I did is put a stone down, which I picked up from way over here in my, my quarry, which happens to be on the side of the hill. And then place down a peasant, and all he wants to do is pick up this stone, but I've just put it just, just, just out of reach. And, uh, since they are simple-minded, simple-minded bots, they will just continue to run after it forever and ever and ever. Therefore, meaning, I can now use human power, which may indeed be a lot stronger than this device all by itself. Interesting, isn't it? I think it is. All right, so what I've done here is remove the walls, and as you can see, they are still continuing to move on. I mean, such diligent workers these guys are. However, let's go ahead and pick up the stone and steal their prize from them, because we are the master, and I am the king. You can now you work for me, and I have stolen it. Oh, no, they're going after it. They're chasing me! Ah! No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> There you go, we don't even have to walk for ourselves anymore. The peasants will just push you across the map. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Oh no, they pushed it out of my hands. Oh, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it now? It's rolling down the hill. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh no. Oh, they don't jump to their death though. That's nice. They don't jump. One guy has decided to peace out. He doesn't know where to go anymore. He's very confused. Everybody else, though, is doing a good job. Look at them go. There you are. The green one's got it. Oh, but the red one really wants it, too. Now they're fighting its peasant wars. Always let it go. And now... Now peace has come over the land, and nobody knows what to do anymore. <laughs> peasant wars. I have moved it. Do you want... Do you want it? Do you want it? Yeah? Yeah? Come and get it! Come and get the boulder! Oh, they're broken. They're all broken. I guess I'm gonna have to kill them. Die! Urgh. Just pick them to death. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get for being broken. I don't like broken peasants in my land. You work for me! I am your king! You're a peaceful peasant. You are enjoying the countryside. Um, but you have to die because I need you back. Yes! Come on now! It really is the only way to get them back. I'm just saying. I mean, I guess I could spawn more. But that was mildly more satisfying. All right, so while killing my peasants over and over again and making them fight over who picks up the stone is all amounts of entertaining, let's go ahead and try that same idea I had earlier, which is going to be trapping the stone in closer to see if we can get some more speed out of it. We want them to turn this machine faster. Because we're all about efficiency and speed is king, right? And you gotta, if you can make it turn fast, you can make more bread. And if you make more bread, we make more money. And money is, is completely useless in this game. Whatever. Use the force. Okay, here we go. Now trapping the stone in a little bit closer whoop, should allow them to go faster. Go, peasant. Do my bidding for me. Oh, yeah. Look at how fast that's cruising now. 
Awesome. That's way faster than it would be on its own. How would we see... Oh, uh-oh. Well, they'll get fixed. There they go. <laughs> they just had to... They just had to consider their strategy. What they like to do is actually move in a bit of a flying formation. So one guy is up front, and then they'll rotate out, and another guy will take the lead for a while. So they're kind of like a flock of birds, but they happen to be computerized peasants. So it's all, it's all kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> but as you can see, you can get more speed out of them by moving them closer to your focal point here. And, and then uh, we move them farther out, and they'll go slower, but turn, turn with more power. But just how much power do they have? Well, that's going to be for another episode. At any rate, thanks for watching, guys. Your peasants can now work for you. And I think that's absolutely awesome. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you in the next episode of Medieval Engineers. If you found this video enjoyable or somewhat likable, maybe leave a like on the way out. As always, guys, stay awesome. Peace. Brathgar.